the most challenging is power. How do you keep those radios powered off the grid? Hey, good afternoon. Well, it is a wonderful day here in the Pacific Northwest, bright and sunny, and just perfect for solar operations. And I'm actually experimenting with a small folding solar panel, um, just finishing some experiments for an upcoming project. And hopefully one of the extras of that project will be a series of DIY projects, and one of them is um, some things you can do with a small folding solar panel mainly to keep your radio communications up and running. Now I will be honest, um, this is a rare day in the Pacific Northwest. Um, a lot of times we are overcast or raining, but in other areas of the country this is not uncommon and um, I think we can take advantage of solar to keep our radios up and running. Well, right there you'll see a small briefcase folding solar panel I got from Harbor Freight as well as a couple of accessories and if you look closely kind of right back in the back part right there you'll see the antenna of my handheld. Um, I've got it protected from the sun by sitting in the shade behind the solar panel. Those electronics in your handhelds are sensitive to heat and I don't see any need to expose it to hot sun while it charges but of course that solar panel loves the uh, sun <clears throat> and I have basically charged that handheld in a few hours of sun early this morning. Yesterday I experimented charging this gel cell battery and was able to do so in a short afternoon of solar charging with that same panel. Now one thing I'll go over in the DIY section of um, our project is some cables and we'll also for sure go over modifying these cables as many of you know I'm a big fan of the Anderson power pole combination of the Anderson power pole with these solar accessories is going to give you a lot of flexibility well here you can see my solar panel and I'm charging radio in the shadows there give you a quick little view. So this is my radio. It's charging in its charger base and it's hooked into the solar panel via a round barrel connector. And again I'm going to be converting things over to Anderson power pole. I think that'll give a lot of flexibility. And yesterday I successfully charged that battery. So charging that battery and running the radio off of that battery can give me a lot of flexibility but I can also charge the radio directly off the solar panel and you can see I've got a green light I'm charged that's pretty exciting that's going to give me a lot of flexibility of course one solution is solar power and I'm pretty excited that I'm able to keep my radio charged and functional using a folding solar panel which fits perfectly behind the seat in my truck I'm actually going to get another set for our new range camp so I've got that capability spread out and well we'll keep you up to date as we progress with that project and um, any future videos well you can count on future videos on ham radio and solar power alright thanks for following along and be safe for the solar uh, panel will give you using a 